Hey everyone, this is Taurus at visualspicer.com and today I'm making my very first tutorial video. Uh, so the topic that I'm going to cover is the a question that I get a lot um, and it's, it has to do with the types of software that I use uh, to create all of my projects that you see on my website. Um, so the first thing being is the operating system. Uh, I'm a, a Windows user, have been for a very long time and the reason being is because uh, I generally piece together my own computer, uh, kind of get the, uh, the the types of hardware that I want to work with and uh, customize it to my preference. So uh, that works for me really well. And I've also, for the past few years, I've been doing a lot of uh, design work for Microsoft. So it helps to be working on the same platform as them. Generally, when I start a, a new project, I'll do a little bit of research to kind of get an idea of what I'm going for. <clears throat> if it's not something that I sketch out, I get online. Uh, I'll use my Formula One project as an example. Uh, so usually I'll do uh, uh, an image search and find a whole you know collection of images to kind of get inspired and pull some ideas from. Um, what I do from there, once I find what kind of what I'm looking for is launch uh, Adobe Bridge, which it's a really great uh, file browser and image viewer. It allows you to customize uh, the interface so you can view things. Let me make myself smaller here. Uh, so you can view thing, view a lot of files uh, very quickly and browse between folders. So. Uh, I will jump into my Formula One project, which I just completed recently. All right, so like here's a inspiration folder that I created. So usually I'll just find photographs online, drag it into my uh, inspiration folder on my computer. Uh, I think I had a few more research. Yeah, so here's here's a few other uh, real life formula cars car images that I collected uh, which I kind of got inspired by the next step uh, for me when creating a project is creating a 3D model and for that I use Cinema 4D uh, and here here's the big thing about 3D applications Th this uh, this is a, a tool, a 3D tool, which I personally prefer to use. Uh, I've used Maya, I've used 3D Studio Max in the past, and I've just kind of landed on Cinema 4D, and it just kind of fit all my needs. I like the user interface. A lot of people ask me, how do you 3D scan your models and then turn them into paper crafts? And the answer to that is that I don't. I actually... I use a method called uh, polygon modeling or box modeling is where I start with a simple uh, box object like that. It's all polygon based and then I just model away and get it to the shape, the final object that I kind of want um, that looks right to me. So that, that's kind of my method for that. The way I texture texture my 3D models is by using Photoshop. So I'll open up my texture for the F1 model. Alright, so that's that's generally what a, um, a flat texture looks like which then gets wrapped to the 3D object. Um, so I, I create the texture in Photoshop like I said. Then I also uh, in a lot of cases use Illustrator uh, let me find an example here to create um, to create different shapes and lines which also get applied to, to the texture. So I'll, I'll just open up a smart object that I had uh, inside the Photoshop file and then here if I turn off my guide you can see that I have a few uh, few things that I illustrated uh, that I created in Illustrator and then brought into Photoshop and then added some, uh, you know, a little bit of visual effects, some some visual spice to it. Okay, uh, I also use this uh, 3D 
another 3D software package for converting files. It's called Meta Sequoia. It's a completely free uh, 3D editor. And this one, I don't think it does animation. I think this is strictly for 3D modeling. Uh, I basically just do file conversions in this application, so I'll, I may talk about that in a different video. I'm not going to get too in-depth in that right now. Okay, here's the big one for my for my papercraft uh, models. It's Pepacora. Uh, so th this software is uh, it's quite magical. That's the only way I can describe it. Um, Without it, I wouldn't be able to really create, you know, stuff like this guy right here behind me. Uh, there's really nothing else like it. So th this is what, uh, let me open my Formula One project really quick. With Pepacora, what this does is that it, it takes, takes the 3D model that you create in your 3D software, uh, your 3D software of choice, and then you bring that into Pepacora, and you create a flat layout, which has all the glue tabs and uh, part references and everything. Uh, so this is where I create the the, the printable templates to all the to all the papercraft projects. Pepacora Viewer. Pepacora Viewer. This software I use. Um, to basically view the files that I create in Pepacora and also to uh, send to, to basically cut out the templates using my plotters. Okay, InDesign. InDesign, another Adobe product, is a page layout application um, which I use for creating basically all the files that are available for download on my website let's say the race car instructions for example for the formula one project alright so now here I have uh, all my page layouts that I create in this application and all these instructions I also create in Cinema 4D so it's kind of uh, it's a multi-purpose tool for my workflow. If you guys have seen any of my any of my time-lapse videos which are found through most most of my website on most of the projects like this one for example uh, the Lamborghini Aventador 82 project that I created I have a time-lapse video here uh, I use a, an entirely separate set of software for that so generally uh, I'll create time-lapse footage with my camera, I'll capture still photographs and then uh, I use Adobe Premiere uh, I use Adobe, Adobe Premiere for just general video editing okay so uh, here we have the some of the footage that I recorded for the Aventador 82 project and then basically bring it in, bring the raw footage into Premiere, chop it up, and create the edit that I want. I also use After Effects, and I'll open up my uh, Aventador A2 project in that. So After Effects is it's a tool for creating motion graphics. Uh, it's basically like uh, Photoshop with a timeline on steroids. Um, so here's basically my video layout for that project and there's my timeline with with all the the layers and that's generally how that works lastly uh, I don't use this one too much because I'm a visual designer and Adobe Audition is a tool for audio editing but um, I used a little bit of this on my Aventador AE2 project for the scene in the garage uh, where I had to mix or, or record and dub audio over the uh, video footage. I used a little bit of uh, Adobe Audition. So this is the part where I did a lot of mixing of different clips. So anyways, uh, that 
that pretty much covers that pretty much covers the whole thing the whole list I do want to say though um, with, with uh, computer software it's a matter of personal preference I think you kind of every, every person has a different need um, and a different preference so you kind of have to figure out uh, you know what works best for you uh, what fits your budget what fits your you know learning preference if you guys have any questions get on my website and go to the tutorials area so I'm gonna post this video uh, somewhere in this area and then if you guys have any specific specific questions uh, that you'd like for me to try to answer or make new tutorial videos over just drop them into the comment area here below because I, I normally read this uh, uh, on a regular basis thanks for watching and uh, see you guys next time